According to the FAO, cassava is the most important crop by production and the second most important by consumption in Africa. Nigeria is the largest producer of the crop in the world with an estimated 52 million metric tons at an average of 8 to 10 tons per hectare cultivated. In addition to its use as staple food in most of Africa, processed cassava, cassava derivatives, is a key industrial raw material with uses in confectionery, automotive, pharmaceutical industries, etc. Unfortunately, most of these derivatives are imported into Africa in spite of the huge potential in cassava production. This implied existence of value chain gap as several tons are harvested in large impact locations and yet factories requiring cassava tubers and derivatives operate under capacity in other regions. On November 21, 2019, that is last year, the Central Bank Governor, Godwin Emifele, made history by bringing all stakeholders under one roof to sign memorandum of understanding for cassava valuation. Before now, most of the efforts targeted isolated sections of the value chain with limited results. After the MOU signing, the CBM pursued restriction of cassava derivative import and supported establishment of many and large cassava processing plant, and more importantly, the financing of over 100,000 members of Nigeria Cassava Grow Station to cultivate nearly 150,000 hectares of cassava in this cropy season. In Nigeria, factories expended an estimated $600 million importing cassava derivatives in 2017 for starch, ethanol, flour, and glucose syrup. The Central Bank of Nigeria in 2018 commenced the Sustainable Cassava Value Chain Development Program that involves a three-pronged strategy. 1. Mini Processing Plant Finance the establishment of mini processing plants in high-impact cassava production zones to dewater tubers produced, convert it to cassava cake, and then easily transport the cake to large-scale processing plants around Nigeria. 2. Large-scale processing Financing establishment and retooling of large-scale processing plants as well as 3. Massive targeted production Finance massive production of cassava by smallholder farmers under the Nigeria Cassava Growers Association and linkage of the farmers to the processing plants for off-takers of tubers. The first two strategies that hinge on processing have been fully implemented by the CBN, while the production prong is in full blast. The challenge of COVID-19 on healthcare globally meant more need for pharmaceutical products, including cassava derivatives in the form of pharmaceutical starch. Several factories around the globe have restricted exports to focus on producing to serve the needs of their citizens. This implies supply gap for cassava derivatives in the export markets and dire consequences for the healthcare of cassava derivatives importing countries like Nigeria. The CBN accordingly tweaked the production strategy to match current realities and doubled the initial production target of the program from 1.5 to 3 million metric tons in 2020. This implied increasing the hectareage of cassava cultivation in the large impact cassava cultivation states by providing more financing for selected smallholder farmers with good credit record. Up to 450,000 jobs will be created. Our farmer will have it between 25 to 30 tons per hectare under the CBN Cassava 5 Star Program. Either of the usual eight tons. 
by this partnership and value chain strengthening established by the Central Bank of Nigeria. I see no reason why Nigeria should import cassava derivative anymore. The Apex Bank therefore introduced the five-star cassava model under the Anchor Borrowers Program that entails 1. Partnership with states' governments for provision of contiguous cleared land. 2. Allocation of 5 hectares each to selected smallholder farmers under the Nigeria Cassava Growers Association. 3. Financing the selected 5-star farmers to cultivate the 5 hectares with high-quality inputs and achieve target yield of 25 to 30 metric tons per hectare. The 5-star cassava program is currently being piloted in 6 states of Ekiti, Ondo, Cross River, Eboyi, Delta and Kogi. The Nigerian Cassava Growers Association engaged the Nigerian Agricultural Mechanization and Equipment Leasing Company, NAMEL, for 100% precision mechanization covering land preparation, planting, chemical and fertilizer application using boom sprayers as well as harvesting. The Central Bank of Nigeria, Nigeria Cassava Growers Association, NAMEL and other stakeholders are telling the good stories of surmounting challenges and cultivating an initial 100,000 hectares to ensure a yield of over 3 million metric tons of cassava from the 2020-2021 planting season. From Asawa in Kogi, to Ipaoa in Ondo, to Abraka in Delta, to Ogoja in Cross River, Adoikiti in Ikiti, and Ishielu in Eponyi. The story is the same. The agricultural revolution has commenced with cassava. Mm -hmm.